Maisie. Hi, I'm Miss Malia. Hi, I'm Marguerite. Hi, I'm Maggie. Hi, I'm Samantha. Hi everyone, Miss Samaya here. Today I'm going to be sharing three fun seed activities with you. First, we will be dissecting a bean and looking at its different parts. Then, we will be looking at lots of different seeds and sorting them into different categories. And finally, we will be using those seeds to make some fun seed art. Let's get started. For this activity, we will be dissecting or cutting open a bean seed to look at the different parts of a seed. To dissect a seed, you will need a bean that you soaked in water for about 12 to 24 hours before you dissect. You will also need a plastic knife or a butter knife to cut the bean. Soaking your beans will make them easier and softer to break apart, and you will be able to see the different parts of the bean. Follow along with me by drawing the different parts of the bean that you see. Try to draw as many parts as you can. Here I have a bean seed that I soaked for 24 hours. I will start by slowly cutting the bean in half using a butter knife. There are three parts of a bean seed. The first one is the seed coat. Like your coat protects you from the cold during the winter, the seed coat protects the seed and is the shell of the bean. Can you see the seed coat of the bean I have here? Some seeds have thick seed coats and others have smaller seed coats. The second part of a bean seed is the embryo. The embryo is the baby plant that breaks apart from the rest and sprouts when you plant the seed. Can you find the embryo of this bean? The last part of the bean seed is the cotyledon or food storage. The cotyledon is the food for the baby plant that the seed uses to grow until it pulls nutrients from the sun, water, and soil after taking root and growing leaves. Finally, can you find the cotyledon or food storage for this bean? Try dissecting a seed or drawing a picture of a seed yourself. For this next activity, we will be looking more closely at seeds by sorting them into different categories. You can use any seeds that you have at home. Bird seed, dry beans, sunflower seeds, and many others. Another fun way to do this activity is to take small pieces of paper and draw different seeds on each one. You can sort seeds by size, texture, shape, color, or any way you would like. Here are some ways I sorted seeds. Share the ways you sorted seeds that you have at home. The last activity is a great way to use your seeds after sorting them. Making seed art. What you need to make seed art is a paper plate or piece of paper, seeds, and glue. You can make your seed art any way you would like, but pay attention to how the seeds look and feel.
here's my seed art and some seed art that some of my friends made. I hope you can make some seed art as well. Hi, it's Miss Maisie. For my seed art project today, I'm going to be using some bird seed. Uh, it's already a nice mix of seeds and this way the birds won't mind me handling it if I decide to use it to feed the birds afterwards. Um, as you can see, I've already drawn the outline of the nice little bird I'm going to make today just to help me figure out where I want to put my seeds so that it's the shape that I want it to be. Um, yeah, so let's get started. And ta-da, we're all set. Hey everyone, it's Miss Malia. I'm out on this blustery day to make some seed art. Today I'm making seed art with whirly gigs or helicopters. These are maple tree seeds and inside this helicopter is the seed. How do you think these seeds travel? So I'm making seed art over here and it's going to be ephemeral art, which means it's not going to last very long because the wind is out today. So I'm making very temporary art, but it's still really beautiful and really fun. And I can do it right outside. I can't wait to see what kind of seed art you come up with. 